another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. Not because I asked you to, because we are pouring concrete again today. We just had a little bit of a blowout on our stairs and I kind of felt like it was going to blow out. I'll show you here in a second. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor in Westville, Louisiana. And I like to make videos. So the problem is, is right here, this foam stuff that's uh, going to create the bullnose edge busted loose and it let a little bit of concrete in the pool. Hopefully that's not going to be hard to clean up. Task at hand now is trying to figure out how to hold this stuff together. at the stairs I had to get in the pool and had to get naked but that's okay it's really hot out here and being able to get in the uh, pool really helps out a lot okay it's really kind of rare that we're able to get ahead of the concrete and actually take lunch and most of the time it's just a honey bun or a pop-tart but I'm actually gonna grill some hamburger there dude, just to clarify I did not know when you were going to eat lunch that we were cooking hamburgers I, I would have told you. I'm sorry. Uh, four peppers, turkey ham, uh, turkey bread. Hell, that sounds pretty good. Cheddar, mustard. Golly, man. Oh, I thought I had one on him, man. He done got this thing gourmet Subway sandwich going on. It is rare. It's rare that I get to eat lunch this good. Taste test. Any good? You know, 10 being the greatest, one being the not greatest. It's like a nine and a half. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like it. Three, two, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, we have some friends that are actually doing a pool right now and the little, uh, this little concrete bullnose thing, it was a pretty significant upgrade and now I see why. It's a lot of extra work. It's not that hard. It's just a good bit of extra, you know. What? Dude, what is that? Is that a devil Power Ranger thingy? Hey, I'm Clay. Nice to meet you. Oh, no! Ah! It is. Golly. That's a big old... Oh, like you don't have a hair on your butt if you don't wear it. Oh! He's a big old monster thingy. Okay, we got the rest of the foam coping on. We're going to pour the... Maybe the, not tomorrow, but the next day. Maybe pour tomorrow. I don't know. We're just going to have to play it by ear. But I do know we need to catch up on the sprinklers and we need to set the rest of the forms. But other than that, we're good. Judy, you get that truck for your birthday? Whoa. It's powerful. <laughs> oh, hello, Tate. Can you show me how to backwash a swimming pool filter? I can. First thing you want to do is turn off the pump. Turn off the pump. Make sure your pressure goes to nothing. Spin it around the backwash. Check. Turn your pump on. Oh yeah, it's dirty. Okay, so there's a little viewfinder right here and you're able to see the water that comes through there and once it gets uncloudy, you can turn it off. Juju. <laughs> What are you doing, Cuckoo Ham? Yeah. Run and jump off of. Yeah. Tate, there's one thing I figured out. You're a pool building mother scratcher. Ain't nothing I can't do. You, my friend, are the man. I like this 
question, which one do you like? Yeah, like Hobby Frog or Chase? Comment below. No, we forgot to do these three babies. <laughs> okay, a little bit forward in time, we're gonna go eat Mexican for the boys. I'm gonna end the vlog back by the pool. She gotta clip her eyebrows. I just taste that in a way, not spicy. That was one thing. That's because you're tough and you're five. <laughs> get it! Get it! Get it! Mom, get it! Okay, we're gonna go into tilt, but I'm not gonna film in there because some things you just should experience. No, Plus, who look, wants to see a bunch like, of yeah. video games and stuff? It's just yeah, a little there's sucky. Like three yeah. Bratty there's kids running like, around. Lice. Okay, back to the pool. Okay, take away from today, and there's definitely several because I've never actually poured the concrete up against the uh, pool with the, the foam edge. It gives it that concrete edge when it's all finally done. Right here at the stairs, I would have absolutely put more framing in there, like give it more bracing all the way across and then brace it back. It would have been a little bit of a labyrinth of, uh, of, of bracing but it would have absolutely helped because we had a blowout right here early this morning. And we got a lot of concrete in the pool, but it's starting to clear up now. And I just had to backwash the pump a few times, and I think it's going to be fine. You see on the other side, it has these little black things that push into the liner track, and it, and it holds the foam in place, but you don't have that opportunity on the stairs. So that's a really big help, too. And something I feel like I did a really good job with is staying on top of the bull nose. You gotta pull that foam off and then you have to finish that edge so you can make it smooth and then brush it and it turns out really well. And that just comes from the experience of dealing with concrete because when it starts setting up, it's gonna set up. It's not gonna wait on anybody and there's nothing you can do to slow it down. All in all, doing the exposed concrete edge is totally worth the work because it looks amazing. It's been another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.